hi welcome back to my channel and today we're speaking about the state of emergency I'm just gonna be giving you some information and a little disclaimer before we start this is for information and educational purposes only do not take anything I say in this video as legal advice I am a lawyer but I am not retained as your personal lawyer so do not take my advice personally so according to the Oxford Dictionary, a state of emergency is a situation of danger or disaster where a government suspends your everyday constitutional rights and procedures in order to regain control of the country. So the government is going to be suspending your constitutional rights for a period of time. And this period of time is just to regain control and safety in the country so in our current situation we're dealing with the health crisis right now because of the pandemic and the government is trying to regain control of the situation as movements of persons were contributing to the high rise of COVID-19 cases in Trinidad and Tobago so what gives our government the right to limit our rights well this comes from section 7 3 of the Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago which allows for the government to do this in times of emergency in times of danger so that's what we're experiencing right now currently the emergency powers regulations 2021 are in effect from May the 15th of 2021 and it has been extended until August of 2021. There have been times in the past where Trinidad and Tobago has had to declare a state of emergency. In the past, there has been a state of emergency in the year of 1971 to deal with labor unrest in the country. There has also been the state of emergency for the 1990 attempted coup which a lot of us would remember that that would be in our time and I was six months old when that happened and more recently there was the 2011 state of emergency um, and declared by the UNC government when they were trying to crack down on crime and then we have the one in 2021 that we are currently going through right now now let's get into some of the powers and the rules and regulations that are in effect right now under the emergency powers regulations 2021 which is in force for our state of emergency to enforce our health regulations at the moment as we all know we are under a curfew that starts 9 p.m at night to 5 a.m the next morning on weekdays and as of more recently 7 p.m to 5 a.m from fridays to sunday nights so every friday 7 p.m to 5 a.m same for saturday same for sunday and on public holidays we experience a daytime curfew which usually st starts at 10 a.m to 5 a.m the next morning giving us just a five hour window in the mornings to get everything done that we need to get so from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. you are allowed to move around you are allowed to go to the groceries you are allowed to go to the pharmacy but you have to get back home by 10 a.m. and stay put during the hours that we are allowed to move about which is from 5 a.m. to 9 or 5 to 7 we are not allowed to attend any beaches rivers anybody public body of water public pools water parks they're all closed to the public at this time there are no schools open to be attended in person there are no fets no parties no party boats no parties of any kind no bars no clubs none of it is allowed to be open during this time there will also be no religious gatherings at this time in any churches, temples, or mosques. However, Section 310 of the regulations give us an exempt group of persons. Now, this list is very long, 
of the persons who are exempt from the stay-at-home orders who can actually move around and work in person during this time and even after the curfew. I will link the regulations in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself as the list is very long. But I'll just give you a few examples. Of. So we have the judiciary, we have legal services, parliament meetings with cabinet are allowed to happen during this time. Of course, our armed forces are exempt from the regulations. They have to work. The, those include the TTPS, our fire department, our defense force, ambulance services, medical services. But we also have persons like janitorial services who are essential for the smooth running and operating of these other essential um, organizations, like I said, the judiciary and the defense force, utilities, um, workers who work for TN Tech, TSTT, they are all allowed to work in person during this time as they are essential to the smooth running of the country. We also have children's homes, rehabilitation centers, old folks homes. They're all allowed to run during this time as they are an essential service for social services. Now let's go on to the police powers that are gr granted and amplified during this time. Now the commissioner of police is allowed to vary the curfew that is set in place at any time and must of course inform the public when this is done. And we have seen this happen with the weekend um, changes in the weekend curfew and the public holiday curfews. Police powers during this time have been widened. So police officers can now order you to disperse from a gathering, break up any public gatherings, and also order you to return to your home. And they can also arrest anyone who they suspect is about to break the health regulations or have done so already without a warrant when police are exercising their powers to remove a person or detain a person from a gathering or from breaking the health regulations they must use reasonable force to do so any excessive force will make this an illegal act so when police officers are dealing with the public they must also be reasonable and only use force that is necessary Members of the Defense Force are now given the powers that are usually held by the police officers. So members of the Defense Force can also exercise these powers where they have been granted these powers from their superiors. A person who breaches these regulations commits an offense and is liable for a fine of up to $250,000 and six months imprisonment. Section 13 of the regulations states that no one acting under these regulations and under its authority will be liable to any suit or action taken in a court of law. This will only apply to persons who have the authority to act under these regulations. So that will be our armed forces, our police officers, defense force with the authority to act in pursuit of enforcing these regulations and the health regulations nothing beyond that is going to protect them from any action taken against them in court for their actions they have to act reasonably and with no more force than is necessary to enforce or prevent a breach of these regulations anything outside of that they will be liable for in a court of law if any authority acts outside of the necessary and reasonable enforcement of the health regulations during this time, you are able to bring an action in court against them for breaching your rights in any way that was not covered by the Emergency Powers Regulations 2021. I hope that this video was informative and I hope that everyone stays safe and you do not breach any of the regulations. Please stay safe, stay home as much as possible, and be mindful of your curfew hours. 
So I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know if you think I forgot anything in the comments or if you would just like to comment on the situation. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading them and responding to them.